Hey Hillside. So uh, a few weeks ago I shared about a car accident I was in and that car accident, the, my car ended up being totaled. So last week we actually went and got a new car uh, to replace that car and while we were there we, well, we test drove some cars and then found the one that uh, that we really liked and so the one that we wanted but uh, before going back or we didn't buy it that day we went back and I am a researcher so I went out research tried to find basically the best deal on this type of car anywhere I could find in the whole nation and then used that to uh, try to get the dealer down to a, a lower price that we were, uh, felt comfortable paying and then when we went in they basically gave us uh, what they told us, you know, here's what we could do uh, to match that deal and all the offers that that other dealer was giving. And then they actually came back and said, oh, we forgot this other discount that they had put in there. So it's actually going to be this number, which was a little bit higher. And then when, so when we came to, right before um, working out the financing, uh, before we really went through with it, Cole kind of said, yeah, I feel like we should press, like, and ask if we can get, because that original number, they came and then, uh, and then raised it on us, like, they showed us this number and told us that's what they could do, and we kind of felt slighted, I wonder if they can meet us halfway, I feel like we should press that, but he also kind of had this, uh, this moment of saying, I, I want to press, but at the same time, how much is too much, like, they know that, we um like are we trying to put one over on them or take advantage of them in any way um and um they know that you work at a church they know that we're christians we've been talking about it and so um is it wrong to like press farther and said and if you feel like that i mean we can always ask um and anyway we, he ended up asking and they ended up meeting us like at a lower number and they were <laughs> the, the sales manager actually said, man, you guys want jobs? Yeah, because we were pushing on them so hard. But um, we were kind of talking about that later. Also, the idea of do we um, do we keep pressing to get, you know, to try to work them down? Or are we um, are we representing Christ well in that moment, uh, I guess? And um, talking about that, I... I thought, well, you know, we are, we're being good stewards. I don't, we didn't go in there with the intent to take advantage of them, right? That wasn't our intent. Our intent was to steward what our finances well and to um, get something that we could afford, that we felt good with paying and that the payment was going to be something that we could sustain. And, um, and also someone, I think we were discussing this with someone else and they pointed out um, that you also could be, you know, a lot of people, some people outside of the church see Christians as just like pushovers or um, uh, like soft, I guess, people. But we actually in that way represented, you know, well, we have convictions and we stand by them uh, in a way. And um, and then last night we in our Bible study, we were going through the passage that Louis spoke about on Sunday. And when we got to Philippians 4, uh, when I read verse 5, uh, I was, it reads, let your reasonableness be known to everyone. And what stood out to me is, yes, and previously before that, in the beginning of verse 4, he's talking about um, being in agreement and um, having unity. And um, But when I read that, the word reasonableness stood out to me. Um, that it doesn't say let your agreeableness be known to everyone. It says let your reasonableness be known to everyone. And so I looked that up and actually in another translation it reads let your moderation or let your gentleness be known. And looking that word up in the Greek it was um, means like equitable or fair, mild, gentle, patient. So it's this idea of it's not telling us to just let ourselves be walked all over in order to create agreement. Uh, it's saying, be patient, be reasonable. It's listening to people, showing that, uh, and then weighing what they've said. And then I think what, you know, the one thing Louis always says is weighing, is it 
uh, immoral? Is it unbiblical? Is it illegal? Well, no, then then probably that's something, you know, if you weigh that reasonably and it doesn't, um, it's not against any of those things, then don't make a big stink out of it. Don't make it more than it is. But if it comes down to it, uh, then yeah, we are to stand for those things and take stands and um, not just roll over when we should stand up for what we believe in and our convictions and what is biblical and moral and right. Um, so that was something that stood out to me. Um, being a Christian, yes, at times does mean turning the other cheek or um, putting other people's interests above your own, definitely. But um, ultimately, if it comes down to it, it's putting God's interests, the interests of the kingdom first. Uh, and so let your reasonableness be known. Uh, don't make a big stink out of things that don't need to be. But it's also um, okay to have those convictions when it comes down to it. So uh, with that, I uh, hope you all have a great day and uh, we'll see you again soon.